What if I told you that all the hype around AGI is a scam? We're being told by everyone from mainstream media to AI experts that AGI or artificial general intelligence is just around the corner and that there's nothing that we can do about it. By generative AI, that's a reference to a type of AI that can create content such as text or images. A lot of people are gonna find that the jobs that they've been remunerated for in the past are not gonna be the jobs in the future. I mean, AI is going to create a lot more jobs as well, but at the same time, I would say that there will be jobs that will be automated. If you don't know what it is, AGI is referred to as a type of AI that can understand learn and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks autonomously mimicking human intelligence. Keyword, mimicking. In this video, I'm going to point out the three reasons why I think AGI claims are being used to hype up products, charge top dollar for compute, and push an agenda of a post-human world. There's a slight chance that this video might not age well, but I felt the need to record anyway. Now, if you're new here, let me introduce myself. I'm Mark a data science manager by day and an AI agency owner by night. I've spent the past 10 years in the AI space and my company, Prompt Advisors, has been helping business owners automate their operations. I've not only kept a pulse on this industry for years, but I've actually had the chance to implement AI solutions for many companies. Because of this, I'm always very skeptical every time I hear that we're only a few steps away from an iRobot world. AGI is the holy grail of AI research, promising to create machines that can think and reason like humans, but better. Now I'm gonna go through the three reasons why suggesting that AGI is coming soon sounds a bit scammy, at least in its current state. One is a lack of understanding of what AI can actually do. Two is the subjective definition of AGI. And three are AI infrastructure limitations. People fear what they don't understand. And when they don't understand, they memorize and regurgitate. If you're following the space, it seems like we've hit the aha moment every single week. Just last week, every AI channel was freaking out about Llama 3. And although it's a fantastic model, we're not even close to general intelligence. We're just close to fully automating report creation or summarizing an entire book in one shot for pennies on the dollar. If you take a random person off the street and ask them about AI, they might say they've barely used something like ChatGPT. Even though it has around 180 million active users as of this recording, that's less than 5% of the world that uses or knows about it. On the other end of the spectrum, you have folks petrified that their jobs are gonna get automated. A lot of us are just falling for all the fear marketing. I've actually been reading this book called Smart Until It's Dumb. And the author said something that really stuck out to me. Current AI is akin to memorizing clever gimmicks to pass an exam by analyzing patterns in the wording of questions from previous exams, such as observing the correct answer to any question about cows tends to be answer choice C, or that all the above tends to be the right answer when it's one of the available choices. Just a few months ago, Google made a major release that they had to cut short because their image model was inaccurate, racist, and all over the place. Every time we make a huge leap, hundreds of new edge cases pop up. This book coins that concept, the never ending remainder. It's basically the equivalent of saying we take five steps forward and two steps back because of those weird edge cases. Don't get me wrong. We absolutely have made a lot of advancements, especially in the past four or five years. We've become much better at image recognition, processing languages, and even making videos. I think that trajectory is gonna to continue to get better exponentially but not in the way that it's being sold to us. To say that we're close to a point where a program like ChatGPT can make its own decisions autonomously without any involvement from a human is a bit naive. If you give it a super small description of what you want, does it generate it for you perfectly? Probably not. The output will likely use the same set of words like tapestry or create endless lists of things. This is literally why prompt engineering even exists because you have to instruct it, give it examples, and even a tip or even a threat once in a while. Real intelligence doesn't need an incentive to be smart. I can say anything meets the criteria for AGI if I'm the one coming up with the definition. When I started in data science, most of my work was just called stats. The yardstick then moved and then it became classified as machine learning and AI. The exact same thing seems to be happening now, except it's a lot more dangerous. If the majority of people are really convinced that AGI is on our doorstep, behavior will change across the board. On the lower end of the risk spectrum, this has already caused and will continue to cause overinvestment in AI. There are thousands of companies that won't meet the astronomical results they're promising investors and tons of folks are bound to take a hit once reality sets in. I think this will end up very similar to the EV rush in 2020 
when any car company promising a battery had their stocks skyrocket. Many of those companies aren't even around anymore. On the higher end, if companies prematurely anticipate AGI, it could push them to misleadingly cut jobs just to pour money into an AI strategy that isn't even fleshed out. This is the consequence that I'm personally most worried about. Now, if AI wasn't helpful and advancing at a rapid pace, I wouldn't be as all in with my agency. Every company does need a level of AI, but it doesn't need to be the end all or be all just yet. If you look at the majority of tools that everyone's obsessing about, they're all either in beta, have technical limitations, or just crash from time to time. Take GPTs as an example. However well you prompt engineer, you can refresh your chat and get two wildly different responses to the same set of instructions. If you even upload a slightly complex Excel file or a PDF with nuance, you'll get constant errors. Breathtaking intelligence needs to be just that breathtaking. It needs to work 100% of the time and hallucinations need to be as close to zero as possible. From an energy perspective, training and serving this tech to be usable by everyone has the same limitation that electrical vehicles have. Our grids haven't been retrofitted to handle this demand. By 2027, it's estimated that the AI sector will consume as much energy as the entire country of Argentina, the Netherlands, and Sweden. Even if we do discover AGI in a few years, I don't see how we could get mass adoption from companies and countries to even use it. I'm not saying that AGI is an impossible feat or that we should abandon our pursuit of it altogether. One, that's not gonna happen anyway. Two, I think we will get there in the next 10 years, but even then, I'm not sure that we just won't have a system that's an expert at monkey see monkey do. To really get to the point where we can liken digital intelligence to human intelligence, I think we need new hardware well beyond chips. Human intelligence is the product of millions of years of evolution shaped by social, cultural, and environmental factors that might be impossible to replicate in plain silicon. If you've ever watched anything like Ex Machina, you'll remember that scientist who had to design a special brain to emulate how we actually process information. Until the cost of compute plummets, efficiency of models increase, and we figure out this whole energy situation, I don't see the Terminator AGI everyone's so scared about. If you like this video, I'd love if you subscribed so I can have more of an incentive to rant on camera. And if you're a business owner or an agency looking to leverage the power of AI, I put links in the description on how we can work together.